there is a lot of focus on rising inventory levels. Is that going to be a key question for a lot of te technology, technology hardware companies around the world in, in the second half of this year because of slowing demand? And what's your forecast on what Samsung is going to do in terms of managing those inventory levels? Yeah, I think that the still uh, in terms of the semiconductor, especially memory, the inventory level for suppliers, Samsung is relatively low and healthy, like they are uh, they are carrying around three to four weeks level of inventory for memory. And then, well, cons but the point is that uh, the next year, uh, there's still uncertainty in demand, uh, but we have some more visibility of the, the muted supply growth. The supply growth will slow down. Uh, we have some several issues, the bottleneck in the equipment, the limited cleaning space. So the so the, the the yeah the current demand is weak, but there's a reason for the company to carry inventory, uh you know to for mm -hmm. to, to meet the their uh, the the demand for next year, so that will be mm -hmm. some uh, variable for the pricing, uh in the second half this year. We keep talking about undemanding valuation for some of these uh, technology companies and uh, perhaps better, uh, more attractive looking at this point. I wonder how that could tie into the next move in terms of M&A action for Samsung Electronics. I mean, it is a sitting on a massive uh, cash pile. Uh, what's your projection on that front, especially when we uh, spend some time talking about JY Lee's Europe trip? Is it going to go for NXP, Infineon? I mean, there's a lot of speculation in the market. Yeah, so that's correct. Clearly, the M&A is the one of the key catalysts for Samsung Electronics uh, in looking at the second half of this year. Uh, yeah, because uh, that is, uh, you, you mentioned about J.Y. Lee, uh, and uh, I, I think that hopefully he will be uh, pardoned, uh, like August time frame, and then uh, probably there's a, uh, the, the Samsung the perspective is uh, there's a better condition uh, because of now we see the stock cracks uh, you know, stock price correction, the premium of the, you know, the the, the, the companies uh, is, is slowing, is lower. So the, it's a good timing for Samsung to execute M&A in the second half this year.